what's going on the ape coach from six pack gaming back with you guessed it another update on crypto blades all right big old crypto blades update so um there are a lot of other games that i want to talk about here and that i want to update you on stuff that's in development now that we're getting into q4 we're gonna have a lot of these games starting to come out soon so make sure you're subscribed and you got those notifications turned on because we're going to be dropping a ton of updates on a bunch of other games as well but that being said big daddy crows just couldn't uh you know leave this weekend without posting a big big announcement so i am bullish on this i'm happy to see the progress so let's go over it what does this mean we're going to be talking about um multi-chain crypto blades we're going to be talking about the nft bridge how you guys can get your juicy rewards right now and what that means and we're going to be talking about the crypto blades kingdoms their king token the ido and now uh public sale on pancake swap and PooCoin. all right so we got a lot to cover let's dive right in but just before we do Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and i want to shout out to our most recent subscribers on the channel always appreciative of all the support the growth has been absolutely insane this past month so i can't thank you guys enough so let's get to it uh jose donacimento ready uh joaquin ozores and ali or ale demonic Yo, if I butchered those names, I'm sorry, but I appreciate the support. Welcome to Six Pack Gaming. Let's get into it. All right, so we got the big update here from Big Daddy Croach himself once again. All right, so OKEX Chain is live for Crypto Blades. What this means, so basically you can mint new characters and weapons there. It's another uh, chain just like Hiko that you can go to and you can basically start from fresh if you want to. Now, the benefit of it right now is that the gas fees are about half of what they are on Hiko. And so, I mean, Hiko, they're about, what, a quarter? No, they're about a half a cent per fight. So on uh, OKEX, it's likely going to be around like a quarter of a cent, which is kind of insane. So gas fees, super, super low there right now. And then they also said that um, we've had significant support from OKEX themselves. So expect some great incentives and giveaways over the next two weeks and maybe more with a grin. So I don't know what that's about, but maybe it's a good time to get started up on OKEX. I haven't done it um, because I already just got started up on Hiko. It's the exact same sort of process. Um, so I will walk you through exactly how to do that once we uh, get through with all these updates. All right. So if you guys want to get started up on OKEX or want to know how to do that, how to kind of um get your funds over there and that sort of thing i'll walk you through that process after this but the big 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 thing that i want to talk about here is it's finally been announced the nft bridge will be up next week for all networks this is straight from croge himself next week okay now he did post in the lounge earlier um or sorry after he made this announcement and he said like give us till the end of the week so you know i'm thinking Maybe the 9th, maybe the 10th, right? If we're waiting all the way till like Sunday. But he did say next week, Bridge is going to be up for all networks so that we can move our characters and our weapons across the chains. And it says this is to give low gas fee earnings potential for your existing BSC NFTs. And once they get a permanent solution for the gas prices on BSC, you can ex expect some fun events here as well because uh, they're just as committed to BSC as they always have been, and they will continue supporting us. So, um, you know, they're trying to figure things out with BSC, but I don't, to be honest, I don't think there's any future with BSC with the gas fees the way that they are. They, I don't know how they're going to correct that or make it profitable. Um, I think the future is this NFT bridge and moving over to the cheaper networks. And speaking of, he also announced announced sorry i can't even talk right now two additional networks so polygon and avalanche i am super excited about this uh polygon amazing network that's a layer two on ethereum but uh, basically you know you get the all the benefits of like the ethereum network but way cheaper way faster and then avalanche is another cheaper newer network with fast transaction fees low cost super super excited about those these are probably the two that i would be wanting to uh bridge my nfts to personally my characters 
Um, I am on Hiko right now. I have one account on there because I, you know, I wanted to test it out for you guys for the video. And uh, those guys have still been profitable. Not much, you know, a few pennies here and there, but they're profitable and I'm leveling them up. So I'll have, you know, an additional account of characters that are leveled up on Hiko. And I think what I'm going to be doing is going over to either Polygon or Avalanche. Uh, but who knows? At this point, whatever chain is going to be profitable or the most profitable is probably the one we're going to go to i don't know if there's going to be you know crazy fees bridging our nfts across chains or what i'm hoping it's you know you just pay like a little gas fee or something you can transfer them over and it's not as much of a headache um but we'll find out right so that is huge i'm super excited about polygon and avalanche let me know though what what are your guys thoughts about this do you guys have like a favorite sort of like network you're hoping for or are you guys just going to go to whatever's the cheapest whatever's the most profitable um do you have a preference um and do you think you know are do you guys think that this is actually going to be pulled off the nft bridge up next week i'm a little doubtful because historically they've been you know not very well with dates um but you know what i'm 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 hopeful for it right i'm excited i'm happy to see that they made the nft bridge a high priority and you can see that on the github as well um it was tagged as high priority so they've been working on it so i really really hope they can get it done this next week and we can start making some profits again on our accounts right um next announcement here we had king so the king token that is for crypto blades kingdoms which is their um that's like their real game that they've been working on since day one a lot of people think that um you know they're like abandoning crypto blades and they've been wasting their time on crypto blades kingdoms or something like that but they've been really clear since the start that there's two separate dev teams right there's one that works exclusively on crypto blades and one exclusively on crypto blades kingdoms and this was the game that they've been trying to build since day one uh crypto blades itself this was literally just a, a pilot project right like this was just a minimum viable product this was their first blockchain uh game their first blockchain experience that they were like you know is this going to be something that people are interested in is it going to work and clearly a lot of interest <laughs> was there right when the when the payouts came so um this is going to be their actual game you can check it out here at cryptobladeskingdoms.io but there's going to be like a an whole open world you're going to be building villages and towns and stuff um you're going to be able to um be in guilds and that's kind of how you're going to play the game you have to strategize with other guild members and stuff because if you leave your village unattended and there's no one there to protect it someone else can come in and raid it steal your resources and all that sort of stuff uh there's dungeons there's quests there's a whole bunch of stuff and they have a ton of big partners for this um you can see some of them here they've got a ton of partners they got a ton of um resources to kind of develop this game so i am very bullish on this and they have their token now king it is available on pancake swap they had their ido on cdify i believe like last week they had the private ido was at two cents per king token and then the public one the next day was at four cents and now it is live on pancake swap i will link the contract contract address and the link to this down below you can get it on uh poo coin here as well that's where i typically get these as long as you have the right contact contract address i can't even speak uh but you can see i uh i waited for the initial bots to buy today the big pump um i didn't catch it right at the very bottom when it came back to like 28 but i bought in around like 33 32 33 cents and it's already up to 62 right so we've already doubled that um so i'm happy with that i'm i don't know if it's gonna keep climbing because i mean there's no game yet and i don't think the game's coming until maybe late 2022 like who knows there's no real dates right so i could see this kind of pumping a little bit initially people are kind of fomoing in and then maybe it drops back down and kind of settles around this like 35 to 45 cent area um but who knows right it could just keep gradually growing over time uh if this game is profitable and it's as big as the first as crypto blades or bigger since there's an actual game behind it 
then um you know it's gonna be pretty huge right so i'm i'm hopeful for that i have some king tokens i'll probably be kind of dollar cost averaging that over time and yeah we'll see i'm looking forward though to the nft bridge to all these things going on and now let's talk about how do you play on the okex network if that's something that you're wanting to get started with i will walk you through it real quick but it's the exact same as when you um set up hico all right so the first thing you are going to want to do looks like i closed the page but we have to add the okex chain to metamask so it's the same way as adding any network same way as you add the smart chain here's all the info again i will link this all in the description below but basically you go up to your uh thing here to your metamask you go to settings you go to networks oops networks and then add network and then you just enter all this information so okx chain this is your rpc url chain id 66 okt and then here's the link here for the block explorer enter all that and then you will have it on your metamask okay and then you're going to need some funds over on the OKEX network. So you need to have OKT. That is the um, OKEX chain coin, just like HT is the HECO coin. So you go here <clears throat> to bridge.jswap.finance. Again, I will link it down below. And you select BNB here. You hit OEC. That's the OKEX chain. Select OKT. And then say, I want to... You know transfer my bnb to okt again the gas fees on this are going to be super super low so you're not going to need much the one caveat though is just like with bridging um to the hico network you have to have a minimum of 30 dollars worth of like bnb or whatever you're transferring you have to have a minim minimum of 30 uh usdt to be able to bridge it over so you're going to want that and then you're probably going to want i think it's about two skill for a full account on the new thing. It's about 0.5 to mint each character, um, and I, or I think it's like 0.48. And then if you wanna mint a weapon, it's probably gonna be about two skill. So you're gonna wanna have a minimum of like $30 to bridge over here. And then it's probably gonna cost you, you know, skills around 20 bucks. So it's probably gonna cost you like 40 bucks to fund a whole new account on the OKEX chain. I'm not sure what the rewards are like on there right now. If one of you guys have done it or you're you know gonna try it out let me know leave a comment down below let me know what the earnings are like what you're getting there if it's worth it all that good stuff and uh you know we'll keep people updated with that but essentially once you bridge over uh to okt here then you're gonna go same site jswap.finance but you're gonna go to the swap function and you're gonna swap your okt for skill so this is where you know you get your two skill so yeah, it's only 0.6 OKT for two skill. Um, <clears throat> you get your two skills so you can mint your characters and then you go to Crypto Blades and say, I wanna play on the OKEX chain. So you go up here to the top, you hit options right here. And then you scroll down, it says, you know, your stamina, whatever, and then current chain. So then you just select OKEX. If you've already added the OKEX chain to your MetaMask, it'll bring up the thing that's like, do you wanna switch networks to this? Hit switch network. And then here you go. We are on OKEX. Obviously, I don't have any characters or anything. So, you know, it's not showing anything here, but that is exactly how you do it, right? We are officially on the OKEX chain, but I wanna go back to, um, sorry, I'm, I already have the options up. Say I wanna go back to Hiko. Again, same thing. I already have an account here. So I go switch network and for some reason it always brings up the thing to add skill to your wallet even though i already have it but there we go now we're on hiko we've got our characters these guys are almost level 31 now i'm just kind of saving up the experience until i can level them all at the same time but that is that all right um one last thing okay so i know a lot of you guys are wondering about the rewards um it seems to be very up and down and that is because of their payout formula <clears throat> And they actually made an announcement about this. So um, they created, so earlier it was kind of like a little secret thread off of Lounge that it was this juicy hour thread and which winter here 
would post whenever it was basically good times to do your fights or withdraw your uh, rewards <clears throat> uh, in skill because it fluctuates based on the amount of skill incoming and all of that. And so they made a little infograph to kind of explain how that works because people didn't really understand. So here's the new payout formula. Average pay equals 50% of skill inflow from the last hour divided by the number of fights last hour. So if there was 100 fights and you know there was 100 skill coming into the game the last hour, this would be 50 skill divided by 100 fights would be what 0.5 skill is the average pay. Obviously it's not that high, but that's essentially how that formula works, right? And then how much is your fight payout? Fight payouts are the monster power divided by average power times this average pay okay and then here's the withdrawal limit so they have scenario one is you have more than one unclaimed skill to uh, withdraw <clears throat> so number one is it's either 58 times the average pay whatever this happens to work out to for that time or it's 10 percent of your unclaimed skill above one skill okay so <coughs> Sorry. Um, so if you have two skill, let's say that is one skill above one, right? So then 10% of that would be 0.1 skill. So if you have two skill unclaimed that you want to withdraw, you're going to be able to withdraw a max of 0.1 per day, essentially. Right. Um, and then scenario two here, it says if you have less than one unclaimed skill, it's just 29. I know this thing's blocking it a little bit down there, but it's just 29 times this average pay amount. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you. Basically what it means is the payouts and the rewards are all dependent on how much skill is coming into the game and how many fights are being done the hour beforehand. Okay, and if you're wanting to check if it's a good time to do your fights or to withdraw, they added these channels now. There's BSC Juicy Hour, Hiko Juicy Hour, and OKEX Juicy Hour. So you just click into it and Witch Winter will post at certain times throughout the day whenever it's a, a mini Juicy Hour, a Juicy Hour, and a Mega Juicy Hour. Okay, so these ones are really, really good. I've gotten like one of these before and I was making like point... I think it was 0 0.01 skill per fight and then i was able to actually withdraw 0.1 skill um even being under one total skill right so it was uh those hours are good okay and then if you want to be able to kind of figure out if it's a good time or not by yourself you can go to cbtracker.cwsdev.net again i will link this down in the description below you can check this and it will show you. You can select a network here, BSC, HECO, OKEX, um, but it will show you what the hourly max claim is right now. So right now is a bad time because you can only claim three cents worth of skill. So it's not even worth, you know, anything. <laughs> and then the hourly fights are 0 .000059. So you want to wait for this to be like, you know, maybe two zeros and then some numbers maybe one and a number but um yeah so that's how you can check it yourself that is everything i know we covered a whole lot but the main things that i am super pumped about is the nft bridge at you know the end of next week sometime the multi chains including polygon which is matic and avalanche or avax super super pumped about those and definitely going to be you know looking into what the rewards and stuff are over there uh, we have the King token is on sale. Wow, it's already pumped up to 68 cents. So this thing is kind of rocketing. I don't know <laughs> if you want to get in now or not. Obviously, it's not financial advice. Do your own research. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that I got in at less than half of this current price. And we're just going to hopefully keep riding it up. But we'll see. Um, we covered the juicy hours. We covered the OKEX chain, how to get started on there. And yeah, I think that is everything. All right, so make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and you got those notifications turned on because like I said, we've got a lot of new play to earn NFT games that are in development. 
um and now that we're in q4 of this year we have a lot of those games that are going to be starting to release in the next coming months so you're going to want to uh be up to date on all of that going on and i'm going to try my very best to keep you updated on all of that all right and we're going to have a lot of cool giveaways and things like that coming along with that so make sure you're subscribed you got those noties on and uh yeah that is everything hope you guys enjoyed this one drop a comment down below with you know what your thoughts are on this on crypto blades in general on Cl crypto blades kingdoms if you're going to be playing that you know let me know uh but until next time train hard game hard and we will see you in the next one peace out everyone